size this cat again. So I, I'm going to continue on with my next video. So doing a little bit of mascara, which this is uh, Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express mascara. And it really, as you can see over here, like builds up like nobody's business. So this is like the two minute face. This is what this is. This is what this video is all about. Haven't made a makeup video in 10,000 years. <laughs> so this is what this is. So I'll take you guys back into, I like to do mascara from like wiggle and go down, wiggle and go down at the same time. And I definitely like to wear mascara on the bottom just because it gives me more drama. Even though this is a very simple face. This face is all about accentuating the positives, which are my eyes, just doing a little bit of something on the skin. And this brush is actually quite interesting. It's interesting because it um, wiggles a little and it almost feels like it's going to fall off and it's curved. You can see curved and flat or whatever. So that's that. Um, yeah, so I put as much on as humanly possible. And I'll do a little bit more. But I think it works enough. I used to be a mascara snob, but not really. I'm kind of a mascara whore now. So a mascara whore and a mascara junkie. But the thing is, I have so much makeup at home that I just have to finish what I have before I can even buy any more. And then this was the other eye that I did. Okay, so that's that. Real quick, fast. I did the eyeliner real quick, fast. Um, in the other video I was trying to make, but the video straight up died, right? Okay, so I'm just going to go back with my Benefit stick in Teeter Totter. Uh, Teeter Totter, right? Right under the eye. So light color, a little bit lighter. And I just ease it on up. I bought like 20 million of these. So I don't even think they make this color anymore. But this is just a quick pretty Saturday face if you're looking to go somewhere or looking to do something just very casual and you don't necessarily want to do a whole lot. I'm going to put a little bit of this right on my lid or underneath my brows more specifically. Yeah. I'm kind of getting back into wearing a little bit of makeup even though um, I wore makeup for so long obviously as a career. Um, and now, I, since I left MAC, I really didn't want to wear makeup or do makeup or talk about makeup. But I'm kind of getting back into it. I've been doing some makeup gigs and things. And you never lose your talent. So I will always have my talent as a makeup artist and will always love makeup. Um, and no matter what capacity I do it in. So that's a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. Next thing I'm doing is adding a little bit of cream blush in a hot pink color on the cheeks. And I'm putting a little bit this much. I'm putting it on obviously a lot so you guys can see it. And I love blush. When I do wear it, I wear a lot. Um, it's just quick fast, you know? Take your finger, blend that bad boy out. Take your finger, blend the bad boy out. And you'll find where you need to put blush on. You'll find your bone, your bone structure, you'll find where it needs to be. I always say at least a finger to two fingers worth a width of space, you definitely should not be putting blush in here, okay? If you get blush in here, it's too much. So, from here, sweep it on out. You can bring it up depending on if you do a bronzer with it or not. I'm not necessarily going to do a bronzer just because I feel like I don't need it. The blush is enough, the eyeliner, lips. What I'm going to do on lips is a color I never even wore. <laughs> it was a sample of a color that I believe is out now by MAC. Um, so this was before it was even um, released to the public. Um, this is a training sample called Goes and Goes. I don't know what it is, but it's like a lavender color. And I'm going to be a little daring. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm not even going anywhere. But, ooh, let me find out. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. I didn't know what to expect, actually. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't know if you can see the daggone color. I hope you can.
So I think you can. I think I'm going to stop moving the camera around and so you guys can actually see what is going on. Okay. Yep. Great. So not a bad color. It's kind of like a lilac-y kind of color. And really pretty. I need somewhere to go. <laughs> I need somewhere to go. Um, okay, so that's a little bit of lips. A little bit of brow I did. A little bit of um, penultimate black eyeliner from MAC. It doesn't have to be MAC. These are just the things I have because I worked for MAC for so long. And, you know, just take a little bit of that liner. And swoop it on in. Like, I love eyeliner. It's my favorite thing on the earth to do. And I gotta even it out because over here it's not even. Yep. So now it's even. And I used, actually, a little bit of the, um... Falsies by Maybelline Volume Express. It's alright. It's not bad. It definitely gave me a bit more room in every single capacity. So, you guys can see. I need to clean up that little thing right there. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the two minute face. I didn't do a whole face of foundation or anything. I took a little bit of the Studio Sculpt foundation in NC50, which is my color. Um, and I did a little bit of that. Like, I'll show you how. Like, this much. Literally. Okay? Because it's so dense, it little goes a long way. I know a lot of people don't like it because they say it is too dense. But I don't mind it because, for me, I know how to kind of control it. So, it's not that big of a deal. So, like right here, I still don't have enough coverage, right? For me. So, I'm just going to pat, pat, pat it on out into place instead of rubbing 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 because when you rub so much it tends to move the makeup around yeah and I want it to stay so that's what I'm doing so I hope that you guys found this a little helpful to do a five minute face um floops to nuts beginning to end a little bit of concealer foundation stick super a little bit of concealer only when you need it when you're dark um eyeliner mascara if you don't like eyeliner or if you're not good at eyeliner maybe take a pencil draw a little bit on and smudge it out with your finger or smudge it out with a q-tip super easy and then a little bit of lip conditioner and lipstick or lip gloss a little bit of blush cream blush use your fingers I'm not even using tools or brushes my fingers are my tools and I just want to show you this really cool um, lip conditioner that I have that every time I pull it out people always look at me like what is that? It's so odd looking. And it's by EOS. I got it at Dwayne Reed. It's this little egg shaped ball thing. Lip conditioner. Put it on. It's super, super hydrating. Smells really sweet. It's got shea butter in it. It's got a lot of great things in it. It was maybe three or four dollars, but it has lasted me. And it's so good. And I don't have to dip my finger in it to use it, which is great. I'm kind of curious, though, to see what happens when I get to the end of this. If it's going to be a flat pot or if it's going to be more in the bottom. So I guess I kind of have to wait like an Easter egg surprise and see what happens. And this is a hairstyle from the last video. So you guys get to see what, um, you know, you guys get to see the whole look. And that's it. That's my morning of videos and I still have these little tendrils hanging out back there um I may poke it in or I may not poke it in so I'm gonna just leave it I'm gonna go back and listen to some more music I just wanted you guys to see the look um this is a, a two minute makeup literally just use your fingers smoosh everything on boom 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 a little lip a little eyeliner and mascara you're done all right peace deuces